Hello guys, Xbox Fusion here, and I'm sorry for not making any videos lately. I've been busy uh, doing homework and stuff. So yeah, uh, welcome to another Cinema 4D tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do a custom Cinema 4D layout like this, or you can put whatever stuff you want. I just got a message in Xbox Live. I'm sorry. Who cares? So yeah. Uh, first, you wanna do it. Uh, open Cinema 4D, of course. And y if you wanna put the rendering thing in here, let me just take this off. Uh, let's see how to take it off. Uh, okay. So it will be like this when it starts. If you wanna put the rendering there you have to open the render settings oh, let's make this bigger and put this right here just drag just click this whoops click this and drag it right here there you go you got your rendering settings this is really easy and instead of going like this and blah 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 put in rendering things and if you want the um, if you have like material packs or texture packs, yeah, that's what they call, or 3D things, uh, in your, uh, I don't remember the name in your content browser. Yeah, content browser. Uh, just open your content browser and drag the content browser in here, so it will be easier to to use it. Or you can just drag this in here, and it will be small but easy to use I would just leave it here it's easier to me uh, and you can customize whatever you want like I don't know if you can put plugins or things uh, I don't know but you can custom some things like timeline you can drag the timeline too right there if you're an editor an animator I mean can drag the timeline there and you can drag many things like layer browser put the layer here so it's easier uh, the timeline should be down here I'm just saying like below if you have a big monitor it will be awesome I don't have one I, I might buy one but I need to buy Battlefield 3 so yeah ah uh, yeah so I think that's it. Oh, something before I go. It's if you want to save this um, layout as your default one. So it's our startups when you open Cinema 4D. I uh, just go to Window Layout and save as Startup Layout, and it will save it as a startup layout, and it will take longer to load. That's the downside, but that's okay. I'm just gonna show you how long it takes. Oh uh, uh, no! Oh uh, no! Oh yes! Yes! And let me start it up. Oh uh, okay. Any time. Any time. Okay, there you go. See, it's loading the plugins. I have like 20 plugins, installing plugins, installing layout. That's what it takes a long time. Takes about like uh, 30 seconds to 45. Yeah. Maybe more. I don't know, maybe because I'm recording, that's why it's taking a long time. But doesn't take that much, maybe, like, if you have a slow computer, it will take five minutes. Five minutes, I mean one minute. Just one minute. Yeah. And, yeah, I think that's all I have, guys. Yeah, I've been working on some stuff right here. Lighting kit. I have a light kit. Studios, I have some studios. I will give it away for free <coughs> soon. Yeah, this is not by my me. It's by Ara Tutorials. I just put it there. I don't know why. 
I will take it off. Sorry, I I I I, I write tutorial. Us, sorry, for copyrights. I'm just kidding. I love you, guy. I love you, man. You you're awesome. So yeah, guys, that's it. That's all I have for today's tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching. Please uh, subscribe and leave a comment if you want me to make more tutorials. So yeah, peace.